To end this week, we're heading to the Mediterranean Sea and the Spanish resort island of Mallorca. Greg McKenzie's been to find out why clubbing there is no longer just for the young. Magaluf is Mallorca's best known resort, situated on the southwest coast of the island. It's been attracting holiday makers for more than 40 years. Some say the recipe here is simple, palm tree dotted beaches and plenty of sunshine. And of course, for those who like to party, Magaluf is always happy to oblige. But it's not just teenagers and young adults having all the fun. According to one travel company, the over 40s are flocking back to places like Ibiza, Ayer Napa and here in Magaluf, where they're fast becoming the new kids on the block. Broadway Travel says it's seen an increase of 38% of older people booking package holidays through them to clubbing hotspots. This is one of the island's newest venues, catering for the slightly older market. And although there's no age limit on the door, this is a favourite haunt for more mature clubbers willing to spend that little bit extra for a sophisticated clubbing experience. I kind of grew up listening to the music, as did a lot of my mates and stuff, and I decided it'd be a really nice brand to bring over to Mallorca. This side of the island's got a bit of a bad reputation with the history and the kids and all that kind of thing, and we're just trying to lift the area, lift the venue, and you know, make it a little bit more for the adults. And would you say it's working? Oh, absolutely, yes, yeah, fantastic. The age group we're getting is between 30 to 55, 60 year olds. They're coming in for the day, they're coming in during the evenings. That's working really well. Magaluf, which attracts 3 million visitors yearly, has seen its fair share of badly behaved tourists. But the local council are keen to clean up this image by appealing to all age groups. No, it's not just for youngsters. As I say, you can, you can have it as lively as you want or you can have a nice quiet night if you want. It's some, something for everybody. Yeah, we come here because uh, we're young at heart. And uh, the nightlife, of course, friendly beaches, Friendly people. Where are you going tonight? Um, maybe to BCM. And what's that for people that don't know? It's in the big night club, and I'm going to go on the bungee. Mum, you've got to go. No, no. She's not going no. to the bungee. I'll, I'll watch her, but I won't be going on it. She's going to the phone party. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Word no, of the no. travel show's visit to Magaluf soon spread, and I was invited to speak live on Radio 1 Mallorca about our trip. The station reaches more than half a million holiday makers and British expats across the Balearic Islands. We have yep. uh, a guy from BBC TV, The Travel Show, uh -huh. uh, the one that you just mentioned a minute ago that has something ridiculous, like 80 million viewers a week to their programme. And, and they're here in Mallorca, so can I introduce you to Greg and perhaps he can tell you why he's here. There's an increase, let's say, in the over 40s, reminiscing and rekindling their youth by coming back out to Magaluf well, and Ayer Napa. Just have a look around you. <laughs> <laughs> As the age of the average clubber rises, the demand for more luxurious accommodation is also increasing because many over 40s have the disposable income to go up market. Gordon Phillips is a club director who's planning to move into the hotel business next season. He's been on the island for 20 years. In the last year or two, we've noticed a very large increase in, especially early in late season, uh, in, the older, in the older generation whether they're reminiscing their youthfulness or, or, or um, you know, the, the, I think the travel industry has helped this to happen because they've changed now where it's not, you don't have to be seven or 14 nights here. You can actually choose to come one night, three nights, five, you know, you can package your own holidays if you will. This is the biggest nightclub on the island and draws on average 4,000 clubbers a night. And Gordon admits it's always going to have a young crowd, but now it's also about offering the older crowd a similar experience. And for those caught up in the holiday bubble, savouring the escapism that a change of scenery and anonymity of being abroad offers, clubbers who grew up in the 80s can relive the excitement of their youth all over again. 